All right, my friends, it is uh, the last day in Guyana. It's been seven days of straight fishing in extreme heat and doing basically nothing else, and I have been perfectly fine with that. We've uh, had a couple people stop fishing because it's just so hot, and after seven days, you're beat, but uh, I have not given up just yet, but I am super ready to be home in Texas. But in this video from the last day, I catch two pretty noteworthy fish. One is about five pounds and super cool. The other one is about 305 pounds and incredibly cool, but just an awesome trip all together. Had a great time, met a bunch of cool people, caught some amazing fish. Cool thing is when you fish in Guyana, your guides, your, is it Aberindian? Is that how you yes, say that? Amerindian. Say it again. Amerindian. Amerindian? Yes. Cool thing about fishing in Guyana, your Amerindian guides are just awesome people. They speak English. It's not the English that you and me speak, but it is still English and you can still understand them somewhat. They understand us somewhat. This is Titus. He's been an incredible guide. Helped, helped me catch some incredible fish and the 300 something pound fish in this video was just an absolute rush. Thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it. We will see you on the next one. Thank you, Titus. Yes, you're welcome back again. <laughs> Oh, I don't want a piranha near my frog. Yes! Oh, that was so cool! <laughs> Get out of there! Get out of there! Come on! That's a big one! Yes! This is one of the coolest fish ever. Look at this! Strange. What a strange fish. The bat eating fish. Yes. <laughs> they eat insects. They eat insects? Yeah. They eat them like snakes. But swim in the water also. Yeah. yeah. A guide Titus is telling us that these will literally fly out of the water to eat bats at night. You can see they're clearly a topwater oriented fish. What are his little uh, feelers up front this for? Here? Yeah. This is, I think, is. I, I can't really say it on that, but it goes on top water on this this side way. On the yeah. Yeah, probably it's his feelings. Yeah. Yeah, his touches me probably. He's about seven, six pounds. About five, five, five pounds. Yeah. Whew. So cool. For this next fish, we're Arapaima fishing, and I watched a huge fish come to the surface. And I put my bait right in front of it, and I felt the fish just absolutely inhale it with a massive jolt, and that's when I turned my camera on. Yeah. Do it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. I almost ripped the rod out of my hand. Oh no, he's going back into the crap. Come here. I'm trying, man. Thank you. 
Titan. There we go. No. No, he's in stuff. There we go. He's in stuff. Titus is pulling the boat backwards. No. There we go. There we go. Good job, Titus. Keep going back. Jump. Oh, monster. Monster. Coming right at us. Don't jump in the boat. She might jump right here. Yeah, if you can. Be careful with our phone. Uh, tight. Your phone? Yeah, take it from the top of your body. Coming up. bigger than yesterday's, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a 300? Uh, about 350, I think. How big? 350. 350? Yeah, it's bigger than the one that yesterday. Oh my gosh. Should I try and raise him? Should? Yes. Things as tall as you. Tell me you got that. Yep, I got it. Still on the line. Thought he got off there for a second. Oh. Or. Or she, I guess.
few more up before we go on the boat. I don't think she's ready yet, Titus. Ready? Go now? Yeah. Let's keep your drug tight. So that you can uh, mm -hmm. get around for the night. Hold on, Titus. Hold on, she's pushing. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Three hundred pounder. Yes. <laughs> Let's try and lift him. It's probably about as high as you're gonna get, dude. It's heavy. Dang. That, that is a male. Look at all that red. It's out there. Okay. Okay. Wow. Take a good breath. Be careful, right? Yeah. Red bubbles there. Cayman? Probably Cayman. Okay. Just be careful like that. She goes. She's gone. Oh, thank you, Titus. Yeah. Good work, man. Yeah. All right, we need to go for lunch now. Yeah. All right, my friends. Another giant fish, 300 pound arapaima. Insane battle. Has been a dull morning. We literally sit and wait the entire day till a big fish comes up. And we've seen plenty of them. We cast at them. They don't bite. You gotta have the perfect cast so it falls in the water just as they are coming up and then coming down when they take their breath. If that bait intercepts them perfectly, we might catch them and we got that one. Thank you guys for watching.